Alright, here for the last part here. Let's go ahead and get started on the head texture. Just have to go into edit mode here. Let's go to image, new, and again we'll just make this pure pure uh, yellow here. Actually, uh, no, scratch that. We're gonna... Sorry about that. We need to actually just take this color here. And we can just get this by just copying the hex number here. So, image uh, image new, control V, uh, okay, it doesn't look the same though, I don't know why it gets this, uh, that hue there, uh, um, weird. Move it over until we get something closer. Okay, that's better. We'll call this one face. All right. And let's go ahead and look for face. Okay, here we go, face. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and go ahead into texture paint, texture paint, with this here, and we're going to draw his um, eyes and stuff. So let's go and make this black. Let's turn the strength all the way up and the size up too. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and go to the curve as well and let's sharpen up this curve so there's not as much fall off. See if that, yeah, that's much better. But uh, a little too sharp now. Yeah, that's okay. So size down. Just make eye dot here. I want to make it so I can just uh, click and there'll be an eye dot. Eye dot there. I'm going to make this even here. Okay, and then F, scale this down. And just Now we can uh, go ahead and smooth this out here. I'll make this as uh, smooth as possible. <laughs> that looks fine. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and get a brown texture here, and just press F, scale up a little bit. Ah, uh, make this a little bit sharper now. And no, uh, this is just the cur the fall off curve. Just to, like I showed you, the sharper you make the curve, the the less fall off that there will be. And you can see that uh, whatever we do here is automatically presented over there. Uh, that looks fine, right there. So what we want to do is go ahead and uh, go to Image, Save As, Blender Tutorials, Lego Man Face. Uh, let's go ahead and save this as a PNG. Okay, so now let's go into our materials tab here, outside of object mode. I mean, outside of texture paint mode. There we go. Add a new texture. Let's turn the spec down ahead of time. Okay, go to texture here, new. And this time we're going to go to image first. Image and then uh, Lego Man face. Make sure you have to save it out, otherwise it won't work. Coordinates should be UV coordinates and the color. And um, that should do it. Actually, uh, I don't think we have to press uh, anything else. So let's go ahead and make sure everything is cool here. Okay, give it a try. F12. Haha, <laughs> there we go. That's cool. It still is a little bit specular. Okay, so now we can just uh, let's go ahead and turn the diffuse up on all of these. I think that's a big problem. I don't know why the diffuse wouldn't be all the way up. Okay. Um, that was actually really easy. 
So let's just go ahead and uh, start tampering a little bit. Uh, the normal map, first of all, is just still too high in intensity on the spec. Let's go over to here. This is too high still. Just make this point too. Right, let's go ahead and change, change the background as well. It's kind of bumming me out with just the gray. Uh, blend sky. Darker color to uh, brighter grayish. That's better. Now, uh, also, another thing I want to do: see if do sequence and do composite is on. Post processing, yes, it is. So let's go to the AO2. Um, approximate ambient occlusion. See, everything seems cool. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of compositing here just for fun. Oh, also we need to set up our lights system. So press, uh, we're going to have a three point light system here. So let's go ahead and add a lamp. Just uh, any type of lamp, we can always change it here. We're going to make this spot. Turn this to inverse linear uh, because it's, uh, it's a lot better that way. So we need um, three lights. We need our our main light here. And then we have our um, our key light that's going to go right here, and then our backlight it's going to be back here. So to control where this is aiming at, we need to go ahead and select empty, and then just have this, and then select this. Control T, track to constraint, and voila. So now we just want to make three of these here in top view here. Shift D, Shift D. And make sure you copy the empty with it. Okay, so first let's set up our main light here. This will go right about there. Another thing we can do for the lamps here is uh, this is a new feature. Show cone. That way we can see exactly what's being hit by it. See, it's not actually being hit by it. And, uh, so we need to go ahead and bring it in. Bring it up some. Right now this will... Uh, this one here will go for the bottom part here. Show cone here. And our rim light here. The rim light isn't going to have much light to it. Right now, let's uh, set up the energy and things like that. So for this one, we'll go ahead and make uh, a yellow, and really just lighten it up, or yeah, just bring it towards the center like so. The energy for this will be 0.8. The energy for this will be 0 0.55, and we'll go ahead and make this a light blue. And then for the energy for this will be um, just 0.5, and also the same color, a light blue. And it just gives it a little bit more effect. We can actually uh, go ahead and uh, turn up this value just a little bit, 0.65. Make sure we're not passing the time limit. Okay, I gotta hurry up. Okay, that looks cool. Now let's just go ahead and do some really, 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 really quick compositing. Composite. Okay, use nodes here. Render layer composite. What we want to need, what we need to do is add a. You know what? I'm just gonna pause it really quick and show you what I did. That way, I don't have to waste time setting it up. So really quick, hold on. Okay, so all I did was add a blur node. Turned it to fast Gaussian, turned it to 2525, connected that with an RGB curve that I set the point to here, and then I mixed these together, turned it to add. I mixed the first render layer here with the RGB curve with the blur and the RGB curve, and then I just added, uh, put them together here, put an add, uh, add mix node here, and then just change the hue and saturation values a little bit. So that's it for this very short, very small series here. And also, another thing I did, I, I turned the, the value all the way, um, the, um, this, the resolution all the way up to 100. So I'll post the end result here really quick.
and thank you wa for watching this tutorial and be sure to watch my future tutorials. I'll just go ahead and let this render out really quick. Uh, okay, so here's the end result. Oh uh, yeah, and that's good enough for now. So alright guys, thanks for watching and be sure to watch the future parts. Uh future tutorials. Alright guys, thanks.